AI voices are getting better every day. Some even sound more real than real people. Listen closely. Don't like the moon. She's still dreaming. You forgot our anniversary again? Wait! No, I didn't! I was planning something... surprise-worthy. Whoa! Is that my voice? Because I sound like I just walked out of a Pixar movie! 이걸 누가 사라고 추천했어요? 나 진짜 미치겠네. 이건 피하라고 했어요. Unbelievable, I can't even deal. Like, what just happened? Is this a podcast, a voice actor, or just code? Today, I'm showing you five free text-to-speech tools you can try online right now. And honestly, they sound almost too good. This is What's Next AI. Let's dive in. First on the list, and it's already impressive, Mini Max Audio. This one isn't just good, it's currently ranked number one on the global TTS leaderboard for speech quality, beating out OpenAI and Eleven Labs. Minimax is the team behind the impressive Haluo AI video model, and they've also built a standalone speech model called Minimax Speech 02, designed purely for high quality audio generation. You can try it right now through their browser based platform, no setup needed. We'll start with the text to speech feature where you can choose the language, accent, gender, and age of the voice. You can even fine-tune the emotion for more expressive delivery. First, here's how it handles an angry voice. Why is this project still not done? I told you three times, three times. That came out sharp and intense. The frustration really cuts through. Now something more emotional. Here's a sad voice. I can't believe it's over. I really thought we had more time. I think this one lands gently. The pacing and tone really add weight to the words. Next up is voice design. This feature lets you create a custom AI voice just by describing it in a prompt. For this one, I designed a cute Japanese anime style character, high pitched, cheerful, and full of playful energy. Here's the prompt and demo script I used. Onichan, are we really using AI to make voices now? That's so cool! Sugoyi. Oni-chan, are we really using AI to make voices now? That's so cool! Sugoi. Oni-chan, are we really using AI to make voices now? That's so cool! Sugoi. It absolutely nailed that anime vibe. Exaggerated, upbeat, and super animated. Last, let's try the voice clone feature. I uploaded a few short samples of my own voice, just to see what could come up with. Hello, I'm delighted to assist you with our voice services. Choose a voice that resonates with you, and let's begin our creative audio journey together. Minimax generated a clone that sounds surprisingly close. Clean, crisp audio, natural pacing, and a voice that definitely sounds way more human than I expected. The good news? You can try all these features on the free plan. You get 10,000 credits, which covers about 12 minutes of audio. And you can clone up to three voices. Now for the second tool is Kakaro TTS. This is an open source TTS model developed by Hexgrad and hosted on Hugging Face. It ranks number 11 on the global leaderboard, which is pretty impressive for a fully free public demo. There's no sign up required, and while it doesn't offer built in emotion presets, you still get fine grained control over intonation and rhythm using punctuation and stress tags. For example, Adding expressive punctuation helps shape tone. You, you did what? Are you serious right now? After everything we talked about, I can't believe this is actually happening. You can also manually adjust stress levels using tag syntax like word plus two or minus one to emphasize or soften certain phrases. This is truly unbelievable. I can't even deal. Like what just happened? How is this real? For an open source model, the voices are clear and articulate, but I think the emotional tone still feels pretty neutral overall. That said, I was genuinely impressed by how clean and natural the pronunciation is. The demo is English only, but the model does support other languages like Chinese, Japanese, and French if you run it locally via the GitHub. Links are in the description. Go for it if you're techy enough to handle a local install. The third tool is Higgs Audio V2 an open-source, multilingual TTS model built by Boson AI, featuring native support for multi-speaker conversations and voice cloning. This next-gen voice engine ranks number one in emotional delivery, 
and number one in question intonation based on the emergent TTS eval benchmark. It clearly outperforms big names. Let's start by listening to their official demo clips. First is dual speaker demo in English and Korean. Hi everyone, I'm planning to visit Seoul next week. Any good places that I should go? Jaewon아, 나 다음 주에 서울 가려고 하는데 갈 만한 좋은 곳 있으면 추천해 줄래? 어 서울 가요. 얼마나 있을 예정인데요? Oh, you're going to Seoul. How long will you be staying? Um, I'm planning on arriving on Friday evening and stay until Monday night. Next is a three-voice dialogue between Shrek, Donkey, and Fiona-style voices. Donkey, look at this wee metal dragon. Cost me a king's ransom, and all it does is fry tatties. That's a GPU, Shrek. You bought it to train AI for Swamp Visitor Alerts. Aye, and it always says, right now, useless. Should have asked it to predict when you'll stop wasting gold. You can immediately hear the difference. Each voice has its own identity, natural pacing, and emotion flow. It really captures conversational rhythm and tone. Pretty impressive, right? You can try it right now via the Hugging Face space. No install needed. In their online interface, there are many options available, such as voice clone, smart voice, multi-speaker, and so on. Now we'll test the multi-speaker dialogue generation. Here's a short example scene I tried. You forgot our anniversary again? Wait, no I didn't. I was planning something surprise-worthy. Oh, really? Because it sure feels like you remembered five minutes ago. Hey, come on. I've been working on this for weeks. There's a dinner reservation, flowers, even that playlist you love. Wow. It handled tension, hesitation, and rising pitch surprisingly well. I was genuinely impressed by how naturally the model interprets dialogue dynamics. Now let's move on to voice cloning. First, I entered a short script with emotional contrast. There are plenty of preset voices available, but for this demo, I uploaded a short voice clip to test the cloning feature as well. Let's listen to the reference voice first. Some days, the silence feels louder than any noise. You wait for something to change, but it doesn't. Then generate the speech and hear the results. It just doesn't feel fair. I tried everything and it still fell apart. Wait, no way. It actually worked? This is huge. I can't believe it. To my surprise, the cloned voice was impressively close to the original. I could clearly hear the emotional shift too, from quiet sadness to excited energy with smooth delivery. And the generation is unexpectedly fast, all done right in the browser. If you're feeling adventurous, you can also check out their GitHub to run it locally with more control. All the links are in the description below. The fourth tool is from Korea called Supertone Play. It is a browser-based TTS platform developed by Supertone, a Korean AI audio company backed by Hybe. Yes, the same Hybe behind BTS and New Jeans. It combines a polished interface, high-quality character voices, and voice cloning, all in your browser. You simply enter your script, then choose from a wide range of options, including language, gender, age, and use case. The platform currently supports Korean, Japanese, and English, with more languages coming soon. Let's start with one of their default English voices reading a playful intro. Whoa, is that my voice? Because I sound like I just walked out of a Pixar movie. I think it really nails the friendly animated tone here. Now here's a Korean demo using one of the default Korean voices. 오늘 하루도 힘들었지? 그럼 이제 마음 편하게 쉴 시간이야. I was impressed. The pacing feels calm, and the delivery feels very natural. Let's move on to the voice cloning feature. The free plan doesn't support freestyle input or uploading your own voice, but you can still choose from character styles, including options like Calm Narrator, Dark Lord, Frog, Annoyed Manager, and more. Then, use the voice you want to clone and read a preset script. Who told me to buy this? This is soup. It's just hot water. There's no seasoning. Do they not use salt in this house? My lunch is over. It generated the clone voice in three different languages. Let's listen. Who told me to buy this? This is soup. It's just hot water. There's no seasoning. Do they not use salt in this house? My lunch is over. 이걸 누가 사라고 추천했어요? 나 진짜 미치겠네. 이건 피하라고 했어요. 내가 이런 걸 직접 겪다니? 
。そんまいらんがまね。誰がこれを勧めたんですか本当にもう、これは買っちゃダメって言ったのに。自分でこんな目に遭うなんて本当に困るね。Oh, the results were much better than I expected. The voice matched closely with the original and stayed consistent across all three languages. Nicely done. Supertone Play won't give you deep control, but for casual fun and exploring character voices, it's an absolute delight. The last one is already well known, but what's new here is Eleven Labs V3, and I'm focusing only on its fresh features emotion tags, voice design, and multi speaker dialogue. This update changes how you approach TTS. From text delivery to audio storytelling. Now you can embed emotional markers right in your script, like laughs, angry, or shouting, to shape tone instantly. Here's the example I told you this would work. <laughs> you never listen. Seriously, you touch the big red button again. Get out of there. Now! I told you this would work. <laughs> <laughs> you never listen! Seriously? You touch the big red button again? Get out of there! Now! I think it's astonishing that it pulled this off so well. The tone shifts are handled perfectly. You can clearly hear the jump from excitement to frustration to urgency, all within a single take. Next, you can build brand new voices from a text prompt. Here's the one I used a sleepy ghost voice. Don't wake the moon, she's still dreaming. Let the stars keep watch while the night hums its lullaby. Don't wake the moon, she's still dreaming. Let the stars keep watch while the night hums its lullaby. It sounds ethereal, cozy, and utterly memorable. Definitely not your standard AI voice. Even the soft echo came through beautifully, adding to the ghostly, dreamlike feel. Now for the fun text to dialogue mode. It lets you write short, back and forth scenes with distinct voices and emotion cues. You really think this is going to work? Oh, it's going to work beautifully. Just maybe don't blink. I swear, if this explodes again, I'm not helping clean it up. Relax. That only happened once or twice. Max. And what's that ticking sound behind you? Surprise twist! It's not behind me. I think this result is also amazing. It really feels like a real performance, not just stitched together voices. Distinct tone, pacing, and personality in each speaker, like actual characters in a mini scene. Personally, I'd say Eleven Labs is the most expressive tool in this lineup. Especially with V3, which adds even more creativity and control over tone, character, and dialogue. The delivery is surprisingly realistic. You can't even tell it's an AI voice. You still get 10,000 characters per month on the free plan, but voice cloning has moved to paid only. And that's a wrap on the best free text to speech tools right now, from whispery ghosts to hyper real dialogues. If any of these made you pause and go, wait, that's AI? Mission accomplished. Links are in the description, including all the demos, benchmarks, and tools we covered. Want more mind blowing AI each week? Hit like, smash, subscribe. This is What's Next AI. See you in the next one.